What's going on out there in the void of space tonight? Both the YouTubes and the Twitches. Well, let's have a little look who we have in the chat. I'm back. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Tuesday stream again. <laughs> yeah, I see. In Twitch. Done high goes so much ass hand oh Debius Turtle just random uh the the alley cat Wild Western Commander Shepherd LX 456 Blurry Derpiest in YouTube I see Green Bean I see pre private Shot Dragonborn Echoed Samuel uh, Matt West OG Golden Freddy Bella Rebel I see Dakin and so M Saunders in the chat there Astro Man 33 I robots Eddie Rock Bell Awesome. Awesome stuff. So, um, today's agenda. Of course, there's going to be some Q&A. Uh, we're going to be doing some more showcase. And we have a, a PvP scenario. We're going to uh, check out a different one that we've been trying to play. This one should work <laughs> with, the, with the higher play numbers. So it's it's made by Roni. So uh, I'm I'm kind of curious what he's cooked up for us later, um, and and yeah, we can just talk about the talk about if there's any news. Now I'm going to say right off the bat, there won't be any any leaks tonight unless the previous leaks that I've already said, you know, or previous hints that we've already given, you haven't heard. But no new reveals today. So. I understand if so you're like, right, I'm out, <laughs> right, I'm out of here. But still, uh, just to give that right up from the clear, so you, so you guys aren't waiting and wondering. Uh, but again, there's always, uh, always stuff to show. Always stuff. Yes, exactly. The music. Yes, very epic music. Uh, always questions to be answered. So, 1440p. Are we? Is this a low low quality YouTube video there, Andrew? How you doing, Andrew? I see. Uh, also, I see uh, Justin, S King, Kane, the Cloney, Renato, Emil, Alex, the Kid, Lance, Sven, Hando, Incliner, N Nine, Alex. More blazing dust. Just random. Great. What have we done to deserve so many streams? <laughs> Hopefully, I will also be streaming tonight. On my uh, over on Twitch as well on my on my channel later, I I, I need to uh, I've been doing more like uh, it's shifted now where I, I'm doing keen streams more regularly actually uh, than my own streams. Uh, Tenable, good to see you. Um, will we get? I love that question, Rashid. That is a, a classic question. Question: Will we get? I'm not sure what you were asking, but that is a common question. So, uh, Minnesota, how you doing, Frack? Good to see you. Monster King, good to see you. Ralph as well. Awesome. I'm being tagged somewhere in Discord. What's this? Okay, I've got been tagged. Oh, that's a good idea, actually. Um, now, one of the other things I'm going to talk about in a little bit is the is ClanCon, which is this unofficial event that I'm organizing uh, for the community. It's, it's, I'm not sure if I, I told you guys, it's got a, the working the working name is ClanCon. So uh, I'll talk about that a little bit as well, because we're getting very organized with that now. That's interesting. YouTube, YouTube gave you a free super chat. Anyways, do you have any new info you can tell us about the new update? Uh, JPN. Thank you for the support. I, I, that's interesting. Never heard of the free super chat. Are you? Do you have? I wonder if you have a. Do you have like a, a YouTube uh, premium subscription or something? So, that's the only way I can imagine that there could be something like that. But it sounds sounds pretty cool. Uh, as for new information, uh, did you, uh, JPN? Did you uh, did you get the uh, the blog post news right? The, the fact the next update is going to be focused on grid AI. Just in general, is that the because that is the that is the, the main info out there. I can do a I, just in case you guys have not followed any streams recently or missed the news. I will once again read the glorious um, 
just a little bit about the next update. Just to, oh, you know about that. Okay. Um, okay. Well, there's been nothing new other than the team is still working hard on it. I'll just say we got we got an, we got an internal playtest tomorrow as well. We're going to be uh, playtesting some of that stuff as well. I'm, I'm excited because I'm I'm brainstorming the uh, thinking of the trailer. And actually, look, I'm wondering if that. I don't know. I probably won't be done in time. But I don't know. We'll see. Hmm. I don't know. I'll just think about that. I wonder if I could... Hmm. I'm thinking of what assets I could use for this, you know. And obviously, there's some stuff coming up. But it'd be kind of cool if I used the ship that we have this contest for in it. Maybe I can... Depending... Uh, you know, release has still not been announced yet. And obviously, that will partly depend on... Uh, you know, the testing and the play testing and, and everything else. It is heavily in development. You know, the guys are, uh, are still polishing stuff. And uh, I, I'll say that it's it's not... In development. You know, the guys are, uh, are still... Okay, hold on. I can hear myself. We've run out of soundtrack here. I've went to the wait. So, I'll say that it's not super soon. Here's 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 a kind of a, it's kind of an obvious thing because you guys know that we tend to like tease some stuff in advance. So I think if you follow the game for a while, you can kind of once the first teaser drops, you can get a pretty good estimate up to like when the update will release. If you sort of mean, I, 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 even I don't know the top of my head if it's like a, a do like a, a month of preview or something, but still. So I think once you see that, I mean, who knows? Maybe we won't show as much until closer to the release, but. Um, all I can say is that it's it's a really exciting update, and I'm I'm super pumped to to make the video on it. Uh, it's actually going to be quite overwhelming. Again, it, the last update was alright, you know, like it was some standard blocks, some cool stuff, but it wasn't like any major mechanics like the the, the warfare and stuff. So I'm a little bit once again a little bit intimidated about approaching this new uh, making a new trailer for the upcoming update because it's going to be have a lot of stuff to show off. So uh, I'm excited and a little bit like, oh, how do I how do I break this down into a cool trailer? But just a, a touch on that, maybe some of you guys missed. This will be this this will definitely be some deja vu or repeat for some of you guys who caught the the last couple of weeks streams. But I will go over it again. So here we go. Good evening, Mad Dog. Uh, okay, you ready for the dramatic voice? Hold on. Grid AI. Oh no, I need a bit of grid AI. That's right. No, how did my voice? Grid AI. <laughs> Forget that. Sounds strange for some reason. Uh, that's right, it's coming. The time to build your friends is on the horizon. Coming later this year, we will explore a future full of automated and animated allies and enemies. Our end goal for this major update is to completely change what a grid is and redefine the enemy and AI experience. We are currently in the process of creating tools that will empower your creativity like never before. We believe this may be one of the most powerful, impactful updates we have ever released. And we cannot wait to see the workshop come alive with new creations. This update will not only reshape many major elements of gameplay, but it will also serve as a basis for continued exploration of the NPC concept. These powerful new mechanics will create new engineering opportunities and serve as a foundation for future upgrades and improvements to the existing PvE content. It is still in, it is still in development, so stay tuned for more information. Yeah, so that, that's just the, the, the quick paragraph on that. Again, if you missed that, and that's what we're working on. And yeah, it's exciting stuff, guys. It's exciting stuff. Vlad, welcome to the stream. Okay, I'll say this, Gex. No, no, <laughs> I want to say it, but I'm thinking, oh, God. Maybe, or maybe, like I say, okay, you never know what Marek is with a sniper, you know, like, on me on, out the window or something. I wanted to say maybe just a, a very rough estimate about the release, but maybe I, I probably shouldn't. But uh, soon TM is always the, the safe option. Uh, welcome. Lots of people still joining us today. It's great to see so many people. So other than the, the grid AI update that is in the progress right now, I'd also want to touch again on the DLC price change that's coming up. Uh, let me look at the date. Hold on. Yep, so a week on Thursday. So you've got about nine days remaining. Uh, 
prices of DLC will receive their first increase in three years. So all DLC will be increased from $3.99 to $4.99 or your regional equivalent. But this will not impact the base game. The base game will remain the same. So we've had this uh, last chance sale going on for the last, uh, the last month. Uh, well, three weeks here. Uh, it was. It's still available both on our website and now also on the Steam store as well, directly through the uh, uh, the, the summer sale, which is happening right now. So you can also pick it up then. It was on Xbox for the last week, but it just ended yesterday, I think. So hopefully, if you're an Xbox user, you managed to pick up your discounted DLCs the last week. Um, and yeah, like. There will be sales in the future, but the base price will be five four ninety nine now. So when it is thirty percent, it will be like closer again to the original price, like the the old price. But this is the best chance now because it's like uh, three ninety nine and thirty percent from three ninety nine. So that's just another reminder for you guys. And again, we the main reason of the sale is to give all the players who you know have been you know have been kind of waiting maybe to pick it up. Like this last chance to get up for this this price there. So that was the other uh, kind of reminder. And was there any reminders here? Well, we have this uh, contest going on. This kind of uh, more casual contest to rebuild my ship, the Zebin Battlecruiser and or, well, and maybe the, uh, the fighter to go with it. I've already seen some. Uh, I'm not sure. Let me know in the chat how many of you guys have been, have checked out the Zebin Battlecruiser and are still, give me a little 07. If you're still kind of working on something, because I'm really, I will in the coming weeks uh, give you a proper way to submit those, so we can actually like, rather than just like pasting it in the chat, we'll actually, I'll probably give you an email address to send those to, and we can uh, collect, I can collect them all the links, because maybe you'll post those links as unlisted on the workshop. Um, uh, can you post a link to your Mod.io account for Keen? I'm really glad to f you finally added Space Engineers. I've always wanted to play it for years. Yes, KM. We've got a official Mod.io account for Keen Software House. But for some reason, I hold on. I'll do it like this. Is that going to work? Yeah, here we go. So I'll paste that in the chat. That's the, uh, that's the official... Mod.io link for uh, that's that that's I manage that account so I uh, post all the the builds from the workshop and stuff that we uh, use in trailers and that's the main thing for it. Okay, are you doing it as well, Rotal? Cool, awesome. I haven't actually clicked on Steam yet. Is there a couple of ones being uh, posted or so far? Uh. I still need to finish my Dreadnought, so priorities, that's also good. Yeah, the server is up. We have got a server going. We'll do a bit of showcase here, and then we're going to do a PvP scenario in a little bit here. Um, let's scroll up here. Let me just see. I missed a lot of chat here. Jim Fingers and the YouTube as well. I think I said I saw, I saw Jim in, in uh, Twitch as well. Uh, Bailey says, any official Steam Deck support? I have Space Engineers running on um, Minyaro Linux better than Windows? Before? Really? Bailey, that's interesting. I don't hear much about uh, Linux uh, when it comes to people playing on it. So that's interesting. It runs better, does it? Mm -hmm. As for Steam Deck, this is something that I believe it does work on Steam Deck, but we are looking into the official support for Stream Deck. You know, have that big, have that like Stream Deck compatible badge or whatever on the on the store page. So. I don't know how many of you guys have Steam Decks, but that is something that we're actively looking into and uh, trying to make happen. Even though I believe it does work kind of as is. It's just maybe there's maybe there's some issues with it. I don't, I don't know. I can't remember for sure. Uh, hey, Lee, how you doing? IP of the server. Let's see here. I'm going to bring up the game as well. Hey, here we go. We got some mechs in, I see. Already got some mechs. <laughs> Eternal Colossus is back. 
Um, maybe someone can. I don't, can someone paste the IP into the YouTube chat? I'm not sure if, or maybe if someone puts it in the in the the Twitch, I can copy it across. Manyara is a user-friendly version of Linux. Okay, but I'm just curious. Uh, I'm just curious how well it's like if you have the same system and you're playing on Linux and then you play on Windows, like the difference in performance, you see what I mean? New KLF, welcome. Good evening. Uh, thanks, I can never find it. I saw my best friend play it in middle school on his PC, but my mom wouldn't buy me on PC. I just thought I'd call it maybe now. Great, yeah, I, I really hope that helps and please do enjoy those, those ships that, I mean, I didn't make, I think I only made a few of them. Mostly they are even made by our level designers, uh, game designers, or we have some that have been, that, that, that community builds that have been maybe recolored or retrofitted a little bit. So, I love SC. It's the best game in the world. You guys are amazing. Thank you for this beautiful game. Well, thank you for L. Pound sign. Oh, Alex. Alex. I just took me a second there. Alex, yeah. <laughs> for 4L, pound sign X, yeah. Hello there, trash bag. How are you doing? Chance of a PlayStation. Okay. Again, my uh, PR response to this. Uh, again, it's we do want uh, as many people as possible to be able to play Space Engineers. And uh, I definitely think we really want to have it on PlayStation in the future. Um, again, it was only natural that after Xbox came out, it was the the, the, the next largest crowd asking for some, you know, for a version was, was PlayStation. So uh, all I'll say is stay tuned. Because I, I also personally would really love to see that. Who knows, there may be Switch next. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't. I think Crisis runs on Switch, so it's you know it's not it's maybe not impossible. <laughs> um, how you doing, bruh? Bruh? It's it's going pretty good actually. Yes, it is. I actually I was actually uh, away at the weekend. I was in Rome for the first time, so I had a really yeah, amazing time in Rome. Uh, my yeah, it was just it wasn't long enough though. Like I was just overwhelmed by the the history there. Uh, you know, just especially you know, in the very center, but also just like not the very historical center, but even just the streets and stuff. There's just every street has a story. So that was a pretty cool thing. So I'm doing pretty good. Uh, it was nice to get away. Um, anything else? By air, this one. This was by air, new. But talking of Zogvan, I will be going to TwitchCon in uh, a couple of weeks' time. So I don't know if anyone, any of you guys plan to be in Amsterdam in TwitchCon in a couple of weeks, but I do. I am going to TwitchCon. So if, uh, yeah, please do keep an eye. Uh, yeah, please do feel if you see me there, or uh, I'll be streaming probably there as well. So keep an eye out and uh, feel free to definitely. Don't be afraid to come up to me <laughs> if you are the going. Yeah, it's 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 sometimes hard to escape, Jay Matcha. It's, it's sometimes very hard to escape, but I managed to. Uh, I haven't been uh, I haven't been on these streams in a while, so if you're gonna pop on, well, it's always great to see people coming in onto this onto the stream. Uh Okay, let me see here. Bailey's talking about the uh, the li Linux, Linux, Linux. I've always, I think I said. Here's a question: How do you guys say it? Do you say Linux or Linux? I think I've been saying Linux for most of the time, but sometimes you see a, a, a Linux slips out. <laughs> anyway, no. Uh, Two hundred with out of the back kernel, no real difference with mods. Okay. Well, sorry, I'm a bit. So, so it does work better then on on that same system. Can we have animals? Oh, just reminded me. We're still looking at uh, potential for the next uh, like plushie. I know there's there's people always asking about plushies, so we're also still deciding what we'll do for the next kind of plushie campaign. Jochum, hello. Joachim, I know you'll appreciate these mechs in the chat here. And yeah, Joachim, I will be 
I will be uh, closer to you, sir, very soon. <laughs> Blue plushie? I think, because, you know, we've had a lot of requests for the spider as a plushie. But if I'm honest with you, personally, I would rather have, like, a different color engineer. Because I've got, you know... I got my red one, so it'd be cool to have a blue one and then, you know, just keep whipping those out, you know? And I know some people miss the red, the red, uh, sale. So, yeah. And there's also, oh, Clan Cola as well. Clan Cola was also quite popular. So we, we, we had like this kind of gathering of ideas. I know the team is looking and considering what would really make a good plushie. But surprise, I was kind of surprised the spider was actually very popular. Other than the, other than the, uh, you know, the different color engineers. Okay. Look at this. Eternal, I, I assume this is, yeah, Eternal Colossus. Did I say Eternal Chaos? Eternal Colossus here. All right, we'll come and have a look at some of these showcases. You guys get pasted in here. I'll be... Checking out. We're almost done, actually, with the uh, kind of announcements and stuff. Um, another reminder, as I mentioned earlier, ClanCon, right? I'm organizing with a couple of community members uh, a big, I'll say a big, hopefully a big meetup in Prague, Czech Republic in September. The book, the weekend is already solidified. It's going to be September 9th, Friday. Uh, to September 11th, Sunday. And we've already got, I don't know how many, is it 15? I, I couldn't quite tell, but we've already got a bunch of people who I know are planning to come. And it is welcome to any people from the the kind of uh, keen community. Um, and yeah, well, we will be hanging out, fellow engineers, touring Prague, uh, drinking beer, probably, and or, or non-beer, depending if, you know, your preference, but... Uh, grilling, there's going to be a, on Sunday, there's a beer and burger festival. So we'll probably be going doing that. But it's mainly, it's like an unofficial event. But I actually have spoken with members of the team. And we may, I'm saying this is like just to give you, we might be doing something at the office, at the Keen offices as well uh, on one of the days. I, we, I still need to confirm that because it's supposed to be an unofficial event. But actually, there's, a, there's actually a good chance we can do something. I already mentioned we could do some office tours, depending on the numbers we get. Um, we could do some office tours at the office, but maybe we'll actually host part of this like three-day uh, hangout at the office. But I'll have to, I have to confirm that. So I really, really hope you guys uh, can make it if you want to come out and hang out with uh, me and uh, some of the other Keen team members and fellow engineers from the community all over the world i hope yeah <laughs> i know we've already got some people coming from uh, you know different parts of europe so that was also the announcement and i'm just deciding i have the discord ready for this i'm just deciding if it's ready for the ready for the masses ready to put in the chat here um let me just check here so i might just give that link and you guys can within this event if you're interested there's discussions about uh, transportation and accommodation and stuff so people can help each other figuring out where to you know how to get to how to get to Prague and where to stay and stuff so yeah it's going to be September 9th Friday to September 11th but if you're if you've never been to Prague I recommend staying for five days to a week there's lots to do here and I said if there's people if people will be staying coming earlier or coming later i'll probably try and do some meetups outside of that weekend event like maybe on monday or thursday depending on the numbers and stuff but for sure those three days we're gonna plan an itinerary for everyone who comes maybe we'll do some t-shirts something <laughs> just like a, all in the same t-shirts i don't know uh, so I'll, I'll maybe i'll have a look at that and maybe i can post the link for that event later in the stream here um but yeah let's let's get on with the showcase Anyone can join, yes. Uh, and the event is in Prague, Gex. Uh, let me just read. And we, we can get to some more questions in a bit as well about the game. I, I did a couple here and there, but I'm, I haven't seen a ton. But yeah, we can do some more as well. Oh, for 100%. Like, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, even though we're not, as of right now, doing as an official Keen event... It's, you can 
you can kind of combine it with a with an awesome trip to an awesome city like it's it, prague is an amazing place to visit uh in general so you can kind of double it up as like a exploration holiday too right okay let's have a look at some stuff this is amazing this reminds me of the ship from jedi fallen order actually but it's, it's i think it's an original build but then look at this you've kind of got this sail does this sail does this sail actually kind of fold up here it is on no i don't think so actually i think it's just on uh hint rotors to kind of give it that that effect there but it's really really amazing build Looks like we've got some cargo. Yeah, cargo. Oh my goodness, it's clanging out. Cargo boxes on the side, but I love the details on the engines and like this. What is this? That's brilliant. Like the use of small neon tubes on grids is amazing. Like, look at these like decorative uh, antennas or struts. It's, it's, okay, I don't know what's, my, it was fine until I walked over to it. <laughs> Like I cursed it a little bit here. I would like to. Okay, let me. It's probably the landing gear. Okay, let me, we can try and explore it inside from it being on its side. Wow, look at this! So that's the one of the coolest things in the last two or three years is into in a small ship builds right like this. <laughs> this is so great! Look at that! Oh man, it's perfect. A little toilet cubicle as well. Again, using the neon tubes for a toilet roll. Toilet roll holder. I mean, look at that. So you've got a, a, a pillar block with the cement texture. And then you've got like an armor plate attached to it. I mean, I know this. I'm just looking at a roll of toilet roll right now. But you have to admit, this is pretty, pretty genius uh, stuff here going on ingenuity of uh of people using the blocks for different purposes than they were like mainly meant for if you know what i mean so this is all the cargo ports on the sides so there's like a little cargo uh shuttle i think barge and then back here oh it's ts oh it's sponsored by ts tsc oh look at that the lighting I've seen, I've been in, I feel like I've seen places in real life that have lighting like that. Look at that. This is legit. This is legit, legit. How you doing, Drago? Welcome. And th is that the way in? Oh, yeah, that's the way in there. Actually, I know it's not actually. How do you how do you get in this this ship? Just, does it have an entrance, or does it just you just kind of fly up here? Okay, there's the, there's it coming down. Really cool landing gear as well, like this custom. That's again coming back to how cool magnetic plates are, allowing you to create these custom landing gears now. And this looks legit. Minus a little bit of clang. Oh, hold on, here's the entrance. Okay, it's got a board. It has got a boarding ramp, so you come up here which folds up and then you come into that room and the same thing acts as the walkway to the to the the cockpit when folded up right see what i mean shad how you doing shad shad in the twitch chat right now is helping one of the community people helping me organize the clan con 2022 here and he's uh he he's been to a couple uh, two or just one shad in the past i think two and I'm wondering if I should paste the link to the Discord that we've set up for this event in the chats. Potentially releasing the, uh, making the, 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 the count go like crazy. I, I just don't know. Do you think it's, do you think it's organized enough to, to allow an, an, a big wave? 
I love these landing gear though. Like I, I say, really, the 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 piston bits is a bit sketchy here, but the the, the look of it and the look of these feet is are really really nice here. Okay, we're releasing the Khan 2022 meetup channel. Shad released the Kraken. Jonas, okay. Coming back to this now a second. Let me... <sighs> Give me one second. Okay, I think they're ready. Where's that link? I have to mute it now. You ready? I think that's the right link. I'm checking this is the right link. That is the right link. Okay, great. Okay, so that Discord link I've just spammed in chat, that is the ClanCon 2022 meetup Discord server. So if you have if an interest in attending and hanging out with other space engineers uh, and members of the community in September 9th to 11th, uh, please do join the channel, have a chat in general, uh, you know, look at the, the kind of announcement channel. And if you would like to come, then you can request a role in the role request channel. The role request channel is just to introduce yourself a little bit. Maybe say we're traveling from and the dates you plan to stay in Prague because that can help us know how many people are going to be there. Maybe maybe you only come for Saturday or you only come for Sunday and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, please feel free. Oh my goodness, a lot of people joined. <laughs> Great. Shad, be ready. <laughs> Do I need to make some more moderators in there? It's all good. And uh, yeah, the itinerary isn't fully uh, planned out yet because part of the itinerary plans will depend. If we get like 20 people coming, then we can do a certain number of things. If we get like 50 people coming, then it, will, it might change the events and the, the activities that we do. So we'll probably wait for the next month to see how many people are interested. And then uh, a couple of months before we'll try and figure out, uh, you know, or a month and a half before we'll try and figure out the exact plans. We have a list of things that we want to do. So we'll see how it goes. Great. Okay, now I've done that and the, the released the Kraken of the ClanCon, we can uh, carry on with the showcase. It's a really nice ship here. Is this, is this it, yours, Indy? This is really, really beautiful. If you want to paste your links to the ships that we show on the chat, on the stream, you can post those links in the chat so people can find them as well. But so much detail. I love these angled, angled uh, thrusters as well here. Just really spice this up a bit and really make it something uh, interesting but i it really at the same time looks like that the front section especially i'm getting jedi fallen order vibes so okay let's ne let next up here very nice uh very nice uh, f1 car here Did you guys see the the latest card that like uh, it, it beat the record on this hill? Did you guys see that? Because I, I feel like it's I know it's off topic, but I really want to share it on stream because it's just like it's in a, it's it's an end it's a marvel of engineering. It's incredible, really. It just beat the record by like a couple of seconds. I need to find the link for it. Okay, uh, Cass has a genuine question. Uh, run a, uh, sorry, uh, was the, I've run a decently modded a server, around 60 mods. When a player connects, we get connection error, game paused. I'm curious if you guys might know what's causing this. Also, the odd time we end up with a sim speed hit with less than 110... We end up with a sim speed hit with less than 10 players in the server. I've asked Nakeem Discord, but it seems like a common thing. So when people connect, you get like this connection error game paused. 
I can kind of imagine it's like when the new player joins, it's streaming information to them. But I thought that we didn't have stuff like that anymore. Like in the past, something like this was common. But I actually thought we really smoothed out the... Um, uh, smoothed out the kind of connection thing when it came to joining servers, especially ones with mods. So I don't know about that. Um, I would really recommend reporting a bug, Luna, about that uh, on the support site. And maybe this, if you search it, if you search the support site for connection error, like or something like that, maybe there's already one and we're already aware of it. Uh, it, it can be common that if there's if there's a common recurring bug. The, the team is already working on it. And sometimes it's even fixed. It just hasn't been pushed yet into the next update. See what I mean? So that is annoying. I don't know this exact, what exactly is causing that. Is it just out of interest on those same specs? Have you tried running a, a fully vanilla server to see if it's mod related, if you see what I mean? As for sim speed hit with less than 10 players, uh, that can occur depending on what is in the world, what's happening, right? Uh, I I wouldn't know if there's an issue with that unless I, uh, you know, unless we like looked at it to see if there's something odd or if it's just a lot of stuff in there, you know, or if the, the server specs aren't as high as required for the amount of things you have in the world, you know what I mean? Okay. That's also nice. We've got a Tesla Roadster here as well. Is this, are these both made by Chicken Fry Ramen or is this one made by Cross and this one's made by, but you've got a Tesla Roadster. Still waiting for that thing to release actually, but still. Uh, <laughs> this is an interesting build. A Calypso, it's like a, a pill shaped ship. Tiny, it's got, you can access it from this door on the top and it looks like it has interior thrust. Oh no, interior thrusters. The thrust actually goes out the windows? Is that is that what I see there? Where are the other... Okay, he's got thrust in the bottom. Side thrust, I don't... Okay, so he's got internal thrusters here. But it's a very compact build there, the Calypso. Yeah, that's it. Did you see that one? Shall I, shall I put that, that one on stream? This... Uh, McMurty Sperling. Let me let me see if I can get a video on here because it's it's only like forty seconds long or something. But the speed of this it's a, a, a yeah, it's electric, isn't it as well? And it's just like hold on. Uh, it beat the records that was last made in like 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 twenty years ago by some McLaren, I think. Let me uh, check this. Yeah, it, it, 23 years after a McLa the McLaren in a McLaren MP4 actually broke it. But just look at this, look at this. This is, I know off topic to Space Engineers, but I saw it this, today and I was like, this is amazing. And it's just super cool. Let's see. If I just uh, pause this and do... All right, check this out. <laughs> Sounds like a jet. I I really can't imagine driving this. Like the the reaction times to make those like People who were there just said it was like you couldn't even believe what you were seeing. <laughs> and there you go, across the line. So it's even, it's funny, even the guy at the start is like, what the? This is when, he, when it goes, he's like, even the guy can't believe how quick it's off the line. Like, like oh, <laughs> and it's gone. <laughs> So that was something cool I saw today, but I know it's super off topic, but I saw the race car. I saw some cars there and it got me thinking about this. So yeah, it's, it's impressive to beat a, a 23 year old, a 23 year old record. So yeah. 
Anyway, coming back to Space Engineers, um, let's have a look. Let's have a look at some mechs then up close. So this is Eternal Colossus. They're always making some great mechs here. And this looks like a gripper here. It's got like little hands with articulating fingers here with mag plates. I saw some stuff picking up already. Looks like it's... Let's, let's just see a little, uh, a little walk, a little walk and a pickup maybe, uh, Eternal. Yeah, that video does. It looks. Like, it looks like the video's been sped up. It's like it's really weird, isn't it? It's like it's like the way it kind of turns. Is like it's quite it's quite erratic actually, in a way. Okay, here we go. Oh man, look at these cars here being lined up. There, there, there's the next one for you guys to build. I. Okay, let's see if we can pick up this car here. Uh, the, car, the car's running. Oh, you almost grabbed it. Okay, can it pick up this ship? I feel like that ship's a bit too big, probably. We'll see. Okay. It's got one side. Oh. <laughs> it's got one of the sides here. That's surely too heavy for this build. Hold on. One of the fingers locked on. Oh, no, the ship. Oh, that's not good. Okay. <laughs> what are we seeing here? <laughs> Is it pulling it? I can't tell what's happening here. I don't know how to comment on this. And it's down. It's like... Call an ambulance, but not for me. <laughs> okay. Next up. Green Bean. We have more animal-based mechs. This looks like a, a camel here. That's resting. Off it goes. <laughs> it's a very, very proud camel here. Off it trots. Wow. Okay, what else we got here? What is this? Chicken fry ramen got an, with another. Look at this thing. Holy moly. Angled thrusters. The rotor. Uh, uh, the rotor? The, the IP was pasted in the YouTube chat, I think. Okay. I'm, I'm going to have to speed up a little bit here, I think. Okay, we've got a really interesting looking like speeder, hover, hover. It, 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 I'm getting like these, uh, the, the tank, the, uh, uh, the trade, like the, uh, the separatist uh, tank from Star Wars a little bit vibe shape wise, but it's, it's got like these wheels in the bottom so it's going to skim it's going to skim across the ground here but it's, it's pretty cool looking here actually got the gatlet got the uh the kind of guns in the front very nice another cool car with uh flip up uh as i see do i see do i see do i see flip up lights there
And just a reminder, guys, if you if you have joined that that Discord server, uh, if you want to like chat about the meetup more itself and like the tra and the travel advice and accommodation advice and stuff, you need to request the the 2022 roll. Basically, in the roll request, say that you have a strong interest in coming or you, you know, plan to come, and one of the admins will basically give you access to the to the other stuff. So that's if you missed how that worked. Kind of like a Mad Max car here. Okay. So I'm going to flick round. We have the Mad Dog of a ship here. Quite industrial looking. Massive, massive landing fee as well there. Look at that. I haven't... I want to you, I haven't seen this block used a lot. Do you, are you guys... Have you guys used it uh, much? in your builds because I'm actually curious like how many times I've seen this this particular the, the mag plate yes the mag plate has been super popular oh cool it's got like a cargo uh, ramp at the, at the cargo lift at the back there as well it's more inter it's even more interesting than um, when we first looked at it here oh wheels yes two by two wheels we need them. There's a good chance we'll get them at some point, eh? I, uh, yeah, they, because they would, because that would actually, when it comes to all these builds we're looking at back here, they would be pretty, pretty close, I believe, to like real, mo the average size car wheel outside, you know what I mean? Okay, there you go. There's the mech picking up the, uh, the llama, the, uh, the, the, the camel there. On your crane, use it on your crane grab. The mag's too bulky. Hop drive. Piggers, poggers. Hey, Dilian, Jill Kath as well. Welcome of us joining us today. You're way too, way too reliant on, on uh, 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 um, emotes. Yes, I can relate. Now this was also, we saw it getting picked up, but this, is, this ship itself is also really nice. Look at this. It's got that kind of square cockpit here. Let's let's come inside. At the back, we've got like a, a, nav a navigator seat up the ladder. It's not an actual ladder, but it looks like a ladder. Again, using the using the neon tubes for that purpose. Got a nice color scheme. Come to the front. I've got the cockpit here. Got a little plushy engineer. Good to see. But look at that. Like it's just it's such a, a compact, detailed little ship here. I love it. I just... For, again, from someone who's been playing the game for eight years? Coming up to nine years? It's just kind of scary. Uh, the level of detail is, is, is immense now. It's so, so, so great. And I can only imagine with more blocks coming at some point. What uh, what would that mean for these builds? And that's what I think. That's the challenge of builds like this is that <laughs> with SE in general is like it's uh, it's so hard because stuff goes out of date in a sense. I mean, it's still fine, but the basically, say you built a ship a year ago, if you wanted to build it now, it could potentially look quite a bit different because of the the block potential and the skin potential as well. Hey, no back, welcome. 32 players in the server. Look at that. Glorious 32 players. So we're getting through a lot of the ships now. I missed out on the big aircraft carry. I'm sorry about that. It got deleted, I think. But we can start carrying on here. We've got a cyber... Is that, is that like a... Yeah, cyber truck. Wow, look at those lights on the front. That's awesome. Cyber truck on the back here. That is legit. That is legit, legit. Carrying a cyber trailer as well. And in the trailer, it's got a lot. It's so good. I want this in real life. Look at this. Got a little, little, little living area in the back there. So, yeah, cyber truck and trailer there. Very nice. Who knows how long we'll have to wait to, to get a, to see that cyber truck in mass production. But yeah. Up here. Wow. 
Wow, wow, wow. Well, hold on a minute. Wait, wait a second. Is this an original build? It looks very recognizable. It's quite Star Wars-y. But uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm curious. But it could be. It could be just inspired by. But it's, uh, it's, it feels recognizable here. Look at that. Getting some names in the chat. Gladiator from Starcourt is. It does look a bit like the ship from. It does actually, Drago. You're right. Republic Destroy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It looks. It. I just can't tell if it's like. Yeah, as Rodo said, if it's canonical or not. The uh, the Arquitans. Jumping Jackie, welcome. How you doing? Western Page, welcome, welcome. Oh, wow. Yeah, look at that. <gasps> that looks so nice. Wow. Like, it's not quite... It's not quite, like, uh, say, movie accurate or whatever, but it's... It's flavor. It's, it's flavor. It's, it's build style is very nice. Like, the detail and the, the the shapes and the curves and everything else it's it's very very nice to look at i'll, I'll admit that this is a uh, rupture look at that wow again some of these bigger builds i struggle to see all the internals I, I i'm sure that cruiser there had some cool stuff inside wow look at this got the seats got the uh, the benches got the the gun racks Yeah, that's legit. The sides don't open up on this one. I don't know what it is about it. It's just very, very satisfying to look at. Why does this game look like early... What do you mean, Breach? What do you mean by that? Wow, look at this. The Nomad 1 here. Also very, very cool looking. Look at this. Wow. It's got the rear hatch. Inside, we've got the neon lights, the lighting. They don't give off that much light, but I think when combined with traditional interior lights, it can make you can make it look like that these are the lights that are giving the, the light off, you see what I mean? Another, another dropship here. This one has gunner's seats on the sides. And a cannon as well for the, uh, the pilot to control. Beautiful, though. Beautiful, beautiful uh, style and color there. Is it a pelican? Because it, uh, it did look like a pelican, right? But not quite. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, I'm sometimes careful because I've, I've sometimes made the assumption of something being uh, uh, like a, something like a rebuild from a from a series or, t or movie, but of a games. But sometimes it's been like an original build, just like vibing off it. How you doing, Red Hatchet? Welcome. I've still got to check out. I really want to check out the Pelican in the... Um, what's it called? In uh, Flight Simulator. Any of you guys check that out? That was pretty crazy. What is this here? It looks like a, like a ship and a landing pad, but now I'm not so sure. It's got massive atmospheric... Oh! Oh, wow. It's a mobile drilling rig. This is cool. It, do we have voxel damage on? Let me let, me let you... Do, okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, no. Damage is turned off. Hmm. Okay. Let the, let the games begin. Feel free to activate the drill here, but I love this, this idea. It's like a drilling rig. That has enough power to move around a planet and, and change locations. It's got a grip, and the way it grips, the landing gears come down, but now it's stabilized. Look how cool this is. So it's on a slope. It could, it could even be a much steeper slope, actually. And the landing gears here are higher up, and the landing gears here are lower down. But that allows it to be like fully upright. Uh, oh, God, the destruction really has started now. And so, yeah, it can move around the planet. In here, it's got a stack of uh, stack of pistons. Let's just let it play out here. We'll see how far it will go down. 
But in general, like, it's a really cool concept. And, uh... Because, you know, in survival, you might build some really cool build for a drilling platform. But having it like this, where it's actually mobile and relatively lightweight, it's actually a pretty cool idea. And if you could offload the resources to a cargo ship or something as well, that's 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 really, really great. It's got a lot of connectors here and sorters to, to send that away there. But it's a really, really nice uh, system there. Okay. <laughs> Got a little, uh, I don't know what you call this. A little, like, uh, I'll say bus, but like a little van here. Open the door. The hatch is very nice. Lots of nice cars. Well, that's what we're on planets. Lots of nice cars. Now, someone over here has been patient waiting very patiently with their tanks here. Let's have a look. Who's this? AGM Bear. Already... Can I tell you, these are beautiful tanks. And I can see, even a couple of weeks ago, I didn't see this as much. But I'm seeing now that the community loves these these uh, small neon tubes. You know? Let me switch damage back off again. Oh, it's, yeah. Like, for making these antennas, this is really becoming a common thing here. And they do nothing, just look cool. But it, it really adds the build here. And these are, these are fantastic, AGM Bear. How's the interior? Is it just the... Where, where's your... Okay, that's all. So you've got like a... Okay, you've got like... You've got like gunner, driver, and commander seats here. It can be accessed. Wow. No way. They can be accessed by the hatches here. The two hatches on top. You've got, you've got an AI turret as well, as well as the main cannon. Very nice. And next to that one, a slightly smaller one, but with a rail gun... Uh, you've got, again, the driver up the front here. It's a slightly different layout. And the gunner back here and the commander back here with these little blast door hatches. But this is fantastic. Like, I would love to get a PvP scenario with these tanks in it, if you know what I mean. So that's a really well laid out tanks there, AGM. Great stuff. Again, guys, please feel free to keep pacing your links that I'm looking at in the chat. Because I, I know often people ask, oh, where can I get that ship and stuff? And it's hard for me to find the links and paste them in the chat. So if the creators are in the, the chat and want to just want to share it, then please do do that. You're welcome to. Over here, something quite different. Slightly creepier here. We have Eternal Colossus with a, as I'll say, centipede, but centipede caterpillar thing. A little bit creepy. It's got... Okay, you've got a cockpit up front and it's got guns. So it's actually a deadly caterpillar. Or no, it's like a... Not an earwig. A earwig have... I don't know. Not sure what best describes this 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 creature. But it's... Uh, <laughs> quite intimidating there. Great to see we already have a couple of people who have uh, accessed the roles for the event. Two new... We've got Bailey and Gex Gecko. Also signing up for roles. That's awesome. I look forward to meeting you guys, hopefully, in September. Right. Let's have a look. Compact little ship here. RMV. So many compact builds here. It looks like it's got a, uh, a, like a crane system on the back of it. Articulating system to pick up stuff. Just tracking it here. Inside, okay, it's got these raised seats up here, which you can grab. It's got an intro, okay, just got here, small place to stand and look out. Is anything back here or is this all just inter, okay. So most of it is just like functional in the sense it's got cargo, it's got a uh, survival kit and stuff like that. Love the use of the hazard stripes there as well. So it looks like a little, uh, yeah, a little landing feet as well. Look at that. Little little landing feet folding out. Blast or landing feet. So it's just off the ground a little bit. Like a little tug or something. That's really nice. Really nice stuff. Uh, we made this one. Is that Indy? I think Indy or LT fifty four. Uh, no, it's uh, it's in. It's oh yeah, LT fifty four. Great stuff. 
Right, we've got a bigger build over here. Wait a second, this is... Isn't this... Uh, isn't... This is... Uh, expanse. Vibes going on here. Hold on. Okay, mostly interior, not got the interior. Got a jump drive, got some functional stuff. Looks like it took some damage earlier on. But, uh, cool looking build. Railgun up front. Seems like struggling. I'm not sure if it was just because, probably because it got damaged, right? It, those two missing engines have caused it to be unable to take off now. <laughs> Great. Okay, so that's some showcase done here. Uh, I, I would just... How long do we have here tonight? Okay, great. Probably got half an hour. So let's... Uh, I'll, I'll look at this as well here. This is pretty cool. Wide wheelbase here. Looks quite stable. Another mag lock thing. I love that... You know, landing gears were always the, the go-to for pickup things and like cranes like this people have switched quite quickly to using mag plates for everything which i like actually because it, it it suits it it suits it a lot got, they got this searchlight as well on the back it looks like you can put stuff on here and then also lock with mag plates which again is so great because before you'd have to have had landing gears underneath this somehow to lock it on but just having this oh man this is this has to be does anyone else think this is one of the best blocks. 07's in the chat if you think that the mag plates is one of the best blocks that we've added in the last couple of years. Because I've seen it used so much in the builds from today, especially. And I feel like it's it's simple. It's just like a little square flat plate. But the, the use of it, it's just been amazing for these functional things. These engineering things, right? Yeah, look at that. Oh my goodness. Look at all those... Look at all those 07s. Well, this is free, right? I think this is free. If I remember rightly. And it's just the, the, the DLC mag plate was the big thing, if I remember rightly. Like that. Was it, or was this in DLC as well? I can't remember, actually, now. I'm going, I'm confused. Oh, I can see, aren't I? No, yeah, the mag plate was free. And the large plate was in the DLC, so yeah. Which was very good. Life changer. There you go. Next patch release uh, with AI. No date yet, Ian, but you can be sure we will tell you more information as soon as we have it. Wow. You guys keep pacing in awesome looking stuff. This looks a bit, reminds me a bit like something off Mass Effect, actually. Just such a great... Like, guys, you've always been making great vehicles over these years, but I'm an, like, I'm particularly impressed today. I don't know why. But the, like, I think, like, all the vehicles that we've seen have been super detailed and just, uh, just look, like, amazing. Like, I don't know if it's just we have so many blocks now to use. Like, all the plates, the, it just, this looks great. Super cool looking little rover here. Good, um, good, uh, clearance. I went blank. Over here. Load the ground. Oh, my goodness. Low to the ground kind of tank thing, which has separately targeting uh, cannons here, it looks like. I'm not sure if they spin together or if they can actually spin. It looks like they can spin separately and aim at different targets. Also really cool, the wheels protected there by the plating. So from the side, you just sit like that. That's a great build there by... Uh, I, don't, I don't see the owner, actually. So yeah, you guys are incredible. Every stream showcases never fail because you just whip you whip up a showcase and i know i'm amazed every time and i, I think a lot of you guys are, are as well <laughs> look at this lift here this is brilliant <laughs> irl recreation there oh, i was a, a warthog there damn i think i've seen this one before actually that's also very nice I 
I forgot exactly it, but yeah. <laughs> anyway, let me look at the chat then for a second because I'll, I'll never end doing the showcase here. Let's have a look at some Q&A questions. If you have any questions in the last hour and I didn't answer them, put it in brackets, question brackets, and then the question, and let's focus on the twat, <laughs> the chats of Twitch and YouTube and see what questions there are. <laughs> <laughs> okay great song yeah brilliant song Chad chanting <laughs> I can do it at the end we can do it as a bonus here with this on oh, what, what is that effect on my voice here why is it sounding so strange oh this that's better oh, oh, oh. we can do that later <laughs> okay we'll do that at the end for a bonus <laughs> with the with the full Reverb. Anyway, will the OST hit Spotify? That's a great question. That's a really good question, actually, because we have the OST on YouTube and in the deluxe, but I know a lot of you guys use Spotify and just whip it onto your playlist. So I, I'm not actually aware of the process of getting stuff listed on Spotify, but I'll write that down because it's a great idea. And I would also like to... <laughs> we actually need to also... Uh, we we also need to um i've gone blank update the soundtracks everywhere because there are some tracks from the recent trailers and stuff that are missing so there is that uh some other questions self-driving cars of ar you'll have to wait and see what we uh what we what the, the tools that you get Uh, hold on. Question: What about spaceborne xenomorph-like or spider-like creatures that hangs out and around asteroids? So, Zuri, I I can't say specifically about that example, but you know we are looking into AI. This next update is focused on grid AI, but it's it's kind of a, a, a base and it's what we're. It doesn't have to be the end of our AI journey, and uh, I I definitely, you know. Things to populate the world, things that can help you, things that can harm you are all things that we are looking at. Uh, so I so can't say about that specific thing, but definitely making uh, making more things to come across and shoot at is, is stuff that we're, you know, working on. Yeah, I will link the... So again, just before I post it, so you guys are not confused, if you are interested in coming to Prague, Czech Republic in September for a community meetup, ClanCon 2022, it's non-official Keen stuff, but we might be going to the Keen offices as well. And you're interested, I will once again put the Discord link in the chat and uh, feel free to join and let us know if you're coming. I saw some a couple of people asking for the Discord IP again there. So let me yeah, paste that there again. Um... Hi, SE Dev. I just returned to SE after about six year hiatus, and it's great to see that you're still con constantly working the game. It's taken me a while to get used to the new visuals and planets, etc., but it's been great to relive what I was doing back as a teenager. Henry, that's awesome. That is awesome. Six year hiatus. So that means you were playing the game in. So you had planets, didn't you? Six years ago would have been 2016, or. Yeah, 2016. Right. So we had planets out for like six months maybe something like that so but still the visuals have, have, have improved a lot i think since then and the blocks and the way they look and the amount of things so if you haven't checked out the game if you're just getting back into it you're gonna you've got like ugh, gonna have a lot okay, tongue twisted there a lot to check out and uh to, to build with it's gonna be crazy for you I, w I wish i could experience the game with that like you know because i've been following it can continuously obviously but it'd be so cool to be like ah just away for some time and then wow what is this game and all this stuff because i also have good memories of playing se as a teenager when it first came out you know and all that good stuff okay is keen thinking of adding more ui sounds i mean besides the lovely lady telling us energy is low i'm hoping for low o2 also maybe well that's a good question bot now as you know the o2, the ui sounds we have are very old and i don't know how those UI sounds are recorded. I don't know who recorded them. I don't know where we got them from. So I'd be curious if we can even 
re if we can create new ones with the same voice I, I wonder if we would need to like do them from scratch but of course there's i'll write that down actually there's been a lot of things added to the game uh since we um sorry i'm right uh what was the wait what was it yeah ui sounds a lot of new f mechanics added since we had the ui sounds so we simply just didn't have them like recorded right so that's a really interesting point and can add to the immersion. So I that, I will ask about that. But uh, yeah, I'm curious. And yeah, some sounds I think are from Minor Wars. That's how old the actual UI sounds are from. Some kind of customer character customization. We brought it up nearly every week, I think, Frederick. But as a kind of reminder that there aren't any plans currently that we're working on for more character customization. We know it's a, another kind of relatively big ask. Uh, from the community to have new you know be it suits or uh, more faces and stuff um it's not a priority because again i know it's like classic but we always uh prioritize things like mainly the ship building stuff because sc's always been about what you build not your character but with that said i know it's nice to have uh you know your own custom character and the skins already did that a lot when we added them. So nothing planned, but nothing also stopping us from look, revisiting character customization in the future. Um, classic sounds, old but old, oldies but goldies, right? Hey, Ritzy, how you doing? Great, we got another person wanting to join the meetup. Tornado, I'm, I'm adding you. I'm adding you the role to you. There you go. So many new members here. We've got, since I opened the server up, I don't know how many, like we had like 39 members in the server before I posted it in the chat today. And we have 69 members now. So very nice. Uh, 30 new, uh, now 70. So 31 new members of the ClanCon 2022 meetup. So thank you guys for being interested in that. I hope we can see as many of you as possible. Let me have a look. More questions, more questions. Please, re please repaste your questions if I missed it because I, they went too quick there a little bit. Maybe I should, I might, I actually might change that, that invite channel to announcements. Because... Hold on a minute. I'm gonna make a new invite link here. Let's see if this works. I will paste it so people will see. So I'll check. Okay, that's good. I'll use, let's use this link now. Uh, we'll use this link now. It, I think. Great. Okay, questions. Uh, could there be any way to address tunneled areas of planets looking too obvious from afar? I know that's a problem, like right? this voxel scarring as we... So let me come down to the planet here so you guys aren't floating with your cars. Um, yeah, I know that is a problem. Um, I don't know what it would take to fix that, though. That's the only problem with that because voxel tech is one of those things and the code is so massive for that part of the game. Um, it's a it's a question. It's like, will anything be done? I don't know of any plans to to address that currently. I would imagine it's a very challenging thing to address. Otherwise, it would have been done already. Because as you know, you know, like that's been a thing since Planet's released. So nothing that I know of being addressed with that. But I I hope that in the future we can find something to look at that I, I honestly uh, this is where i need someone technical on our programmers to maybe say why it's really difficult to do something like that but it's it, i know it's frustrating especially when it comes to revealing stuff you know it's saying you know to stay hidden right um okay question can you build Kajushi rocket launcher truck and what's the name of the red and black ship in the loading screen? Hold on. Can you build 
Uh, I would assume you can build that. And the name of the red and black ship in the loading screen. Oh, we have... Uh, I don't know which one. You'd have to post a screenshot of that, Zeron. It's probably on the workshop already, though. But I don't know what it's called. I'm not sure which one. If it's the classic red ship or one of the fighters or something. Okay, hold on. Where is the meetup? When is the meetup? And how expensive are hotels nearby to Rockstar? So, um, I don't want to... I, I, again, I do want to address the things about it. I don't want to uh, go into it too much. Because I know uh, not everyone is... It's only probably applicable to so many people. But, just in general, if you have any questions about the meetup, do join the Discord server because... All the questions will be answered there. Uh, Prague is very cheap relatively f to the rest of like European countries, and especially if you're coming from, uh, you know, any any like it, it's it's a it's not expensive place. Like depending on your level of hotels, like you know, like the very cheapest. This I'm sure you can stay in hostels for like I want to say like I want to say like. Ten dollars a night. I don't know. Maybe twenty dollars. I don't know. I'm not sure. I haven't looked for a while. But in general, I know that people who have travelled here from Germany, you know, places in the past, and they're always amazed at how cheap it is. And food here is cheap, and everything else. So, uh, I think the biggest thing, if you're coming from afar, is just like the travel to here by like be that by plane or whatever else. So, um, but all the dates, all the info that we have so far is in that Discord, and we'll have people there available to help you there as well. That was aunt's, uh, who was asking that as well. That was by uh, Rockstar, yeah. Okay, uh, question from Ricardo. W will we see tracks, rails, and gears to expand the engineering gameplay? Not really train rails, but more uh, guide rails you see in many appliances nowadays. Hold on. Rails, tracks, building tanks, and gears to expand engineering. <sighs> rails. I... We could, both of those things we could see. We don't have any, we're not working on those things. I'll say that right now. It's, it's pretty safe to say what we are working on because we're working on grid AI, right? That will come with some new blocks, but also main, main thing with new mechanics and features and stuff like that around AI. Um, but obviously lots of people in Keen think that tank tracks are a cool thing and rails, like the, the engineering possibilities are massive. Um, Gears, I don't think so, because the physics and everything revolving them would probably introduce just too much clang. So I can't see gears happening. But rails, I can, because they're already people already come up with rails in many ways already, be it with the uh, just armor blocks or with the the, uh, the beam blocks and stuff. So I could I could see us coming up with something for that. Or even even maglev or something like that because it's possible to be not so crazy tracks are another thing as well but it's the question is would it be physical or it would it be probably animated but then it's like how you how do you figure out what sizes do you have i guess you could have like some just default like two by two a two by one or three by one or something like that but again it's not an easy thing to add so uh, i'll just say that we're not working it right now but we could in the future because it's stuff that we like, but I, I, I just don't know because these, like some of the cooler things, I'll, I'll say this, like a lot of the cooler things probably aren't in the game yet because they're really hard to do. See what I mean? So often we're looking for the, we're looking for things that add a lot to the game, but aren't going to cause us problems because there are some blocks, even hinges, right? They're super cool. They were wanted for so many years. But they, they weren't without their issues. And they, they probably still aren't without their issues, right? But it's like weighing it up. Like, okay, there's some issues with them. But the advantages to having them, even in a slightly not perfect state, is still better, you know? But then there's there's some blocks that would cause so many headaches for our programmers and, and QA that it's like we need to think more about doing it. Does, this, does that make sense? I know I like to ramble a lot on these streams, but <laughs> hopefully that, that's, that's something there. Okay, um, um, that's, that's a bunch of questions from YouTube. I, I know there was some other I missed here. Let's have a look at some ones from Twitch chat here. Progress in capital ship blocks. No plans for capital ship blocks. It's, it's been a long-term thing from the community to have bigger blocks that, that power for bigger ships to stay in performance. And I think, you know, I, I can imagine, I could imagine, this is just a personal imagination, but still, I, I, I still can imagine having an update based around that. 
to basically cater for having bigger builds while saving performance. But I don't think it's a priority because when it comes to uh, cool things adding to the game, I think there is, uh, you know, smaller things that can benefit a lot more builds. Like capital ship blocks would only help capital ships. You see what I mean? Whereas some other blocks can, can affect tiny ships, drones, small ships, medium ships, even larger ships, just not mega ships. You see what I mean? So it's a question I'm just going to like VR as well. You know, we often get questions about when is VR coming or will there be VR? And we love VR at Keen, but again, it's the fact that VR is only like, it's, it's still it's growing, it's growing and growing and growing, but it's still only a small percentage of our player base. So we always try to add blocks and features that will be appreciated by as many people as possible. Now, obviously there still is, you know, uh, some, not everyone's interested in, for example, not everyone's interested in combat, right? But a lot of players were interested in improving combat. Hence what we did like the warfare updates, right? So, okay. Questions. Head tracker to work. Jolly, jolly droll. Yes, I know. We were talking about track IR in the past, and I, I mentioned that at Keem even like years ago. I remember finding one in the in the the cupboard, in like the the storage unit. I don't know if the guys. I, I'm not sure. I I still don't know about that. Why we had that? If it was the, some of the programmers were experimenting with it, but um, I think that falls under again improving uh, uh, like immersion of like uh, flight sim, both head tracking, HOTAS. Uh, better joystick controls. This this also would be an area I think the game which could see some love. Um, even eye tracking, right? There's a bunch of really cool things out there now um, which could add to the the flying experience in Space Engineers. Because I know when I fly my ships, I fly them quite derpily and just probably crashing them or something. But I think if you added some of this stuff, if you wanted to make more immersive experiences, I think it would help with that for sure. But again, it's hard because it's like, I mean, more people do have HOTUSes and, and joysticks, I think, than VR. But it's, uh, it's, it's still hard because there's so many of a, it still requires, um, you know, resources to do that. So it's always about trying to figure out. That's, and that's the problem with a game like Space Engineers. There's just so many things we can add. I think you can all agree on that. There's like, in, there's almost an infinite list of things uh, that the game could be cool if it had that. So it's always a challenge to know what to make. That's why you, you probably don't agree. Not all of you will agree with some of the updates or when they came and so on, but at least the DLCs first dropped, a, a lot of the players wanted decorative blocks because they had these big ships with nothing to put inside them. So decorative blocks, although they're not maybe interesting for everyone, not functional, they add the ability to yeah, decorate your ships more, make them look cool. Um, and have more diversification. So there was lots of obviously updates that added lots of just new blocks and maybe there were armor blocks as well for creating new shapes and stuff. And then obviously there was like the warfare stuff. So adding new stuff for warfare, people wanted new weapons and stuff for, for years. And now everyone's talking about, well, everyone's always been talking about AI and stuff, right? Whereas, uh, so now we, uh, are working on this grid uh, grid AI update. So we, we try uh, we try to balance it by adding a mix of content, but we can never make everybody happy. And of course, we can't do everything at the same time. So that's a rough, you know, uh, speech on the the situation and stuff. But believe me, as a as a big long term OG fan of Space Engineers, my personal list for for the game is 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 still endless. You know, but uh, one step at a time. <laughs> Okay. Right. Let me see what other questions there are. There are lots of questions now. Infinite questions as well. That's why these that's that's why I know some of these streams they may not be interesting for everyone because we're not showing anything new. We're just answering questions and showcasing stuff, but it's still about touching base with the community, vibe vibe checking, you know, seeing what's going on. And people always have questions. I could do one of these streams every day. And I'm sure every day there would be more questions because obviously there's unique questions that I've never been asked before, but also there's repeat questions that uh, people might know the answer to because they don't miss, they don't watch all the streams or something like that. So 
uh, you know, doing these streams is, uh, I think, it's, it's still really useful for, for players. I like to think so anyway. <laughs> Um, day 798 asking for toggle and highlight I've got it written down servers I've got the toggle and highlight written down already you can keep asking I've got it motorcycles yet yeah, two two by two wheels where they where, where they at you know <laughs> if there'll be if your QA chat we could submit and have a question to put into a queue you mean like a, a live chat bot or something like that? That would be interesting if we had like a, you know, you go onto some pages and they have like a live, a live chat support. I, I, I'm curious. Uh, I'm curious about these things, you know? So, yeah. Okay. All right, then. We were going to do a PvP scenario, but once again, we've over-showcased and over-talked. <laughs> so we'll have to leave that again for the next for the next stream. Uh, but thank you, Climb, for always whipping up a good server for us here. It was performing very well for me today. I think I, think I fixed the stuff on my end. So um, we will... Yaksimash, uh... Dobre. <laughs> super, super stealthy salad. How's my other check? Yeah, PE, yeah, PE pivo. <laughs> uh, I need to get back to that. I was, I was learning Czech and then I, I was getting into the habit of learning a little bit every day. And then I think I went away somewhere and I, I got out of the habit of doing it. I got to get back to to practicing and, and learning things, you know, so. Right. Uh, okay, then, guys. So we'll, we'll start to wrap it up here. Um, let's just see. Uh, 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 whenever someone speaks to me in Czech, I just say, Nerozumim. <laughs> Nerozumim. <laughs> That's my new, my best word. Dobry den. Dobry den. Yaksimash. I'm trying, I'm going to practice now. What are, what are the things I know? I can say, uh, Mam Kochka. <laughs> I thought you were Czech. No. <laughs> I've lived... No, we won't go into that. We won't, we won't go into how long I've lived here and how long I don't learn, know Czech. But it's very hard, okay? It's very hard. I, I, actually, I was reading... There's actually lots of English expats or non... Who have, who, I know there's some English expats who, like, who have lived here like 20 years and still don't know the language. Which I think is pretty bad, actually. Because I think if I've got 20 years, I think I'll just have to like leave. I'm sorry. Leave out of shame. But yeah, it's... I, I, I don't... I don't feel like I'm a natural at languages, but yeah. It's also very difficult because I live a very gamer life, you know, so all the, everything in the company is in English, and then it's just like, you know, you don't need to know so much for going to restaurants and shopping, you know, that's the problem. Just many bureaucracy. But obviously it is good to know because you, I think you can make friends and, uh, you know, understand locals better and stuff. But yeah. Okay, so I see there's lots more questions. I will, uh, there will be another one of these streams, I th possibly on Thursday, guys. So if you haven't got your question answered today, as you know, as you know we, we tend to do these on Thursdays. Uh, so there, there's a good chance that there will be one there and I'll answer more questions there, of course. Um... But also, uh, I'm often streaming on Twitch on my own channel, and I will be doing more so in the next couple of weeks because I'm going to be traveling to TwitchCon actually, and uh, I'll be streaming a lot. Not with my space engineers, but I'll be streaming a lot then. So uh, you're always welcome to hang out 
uh, on my stream. So I'll put that there as well in the chat. And I'll probably also be streaming later tonight. I said that the last couple of weeks, but I never managed to because these streams went on too late. <laughs> the keen streams, I had to sleep. But uh, well, if we stream tonight, there's a good chance we'll be doing more SC. But it is, time is getting on. I've got to eat as well, but we'll see. So there was that. Uh, there's more questions. So yeah, Thursday on back on here, YouTube and King Community Network. Um, the sales on, Steam sales on right now, 30% off the base game and all the DLCs. So it's a good time to pick that up. Uh, so this is also the last chance to get the DLCs at the discounted rate because on the July 7th, the prices will be increased to 499. Uh, so that's the same on Xbox and PC. So a good reminder as well, if you want to look at picking up the DLCs, uh, you haven't completed them all and you want to, now is the, the best time probably because uh, of that price increase coming. Uh, Grid AI update as well. Uh, in the works, you know, you, you know, guys, I will share something with you as soon as I can. And uh, also we briefly touched on the contest, the shipbuilding contest, which we had launched a couple of weeks ago. I know there's a bunch of people working on it and the deadline for that is August 15th. So still plenty of time to, 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 to have a retrofit of my ship. Uh, I will, I need to probably link that in the chat, but I don't have it to hand. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Yeah, so this ship here, you can read in the chat there about it and the, you can, in the video links, I think there's the stream where we, where we talk about that contest. And uh, finally, we had the uh, the unofficial or semi-official community meetup happening in Prague later this year in September, September 9th to September 11th uh, in Prague, Czech Republic. Uh, I'm organizing it. There's going to be other keen employees there hanging out, a bunch of engineers from the community uh, and also there is a, a, there's a growing chance there will be something at the office as well. So we might on one of the days do an office presentation, hang out at the office. So if you're interested in coming to Prague in September and hanging out with everybody, uh, please do join this Discord server. And even, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you as well this. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, even if you can't come this year, we're going to be organizing events in the coming years. We used to do it every year before COVID. It was you know, 2018, 2019, I think even 2017 we had one. So we've been doing a number of events of, of this and then COVID stopped it. So even if you can't uh, come to the one this year, feel free to join anyway because we'll be organizing more events anyway uh, later. So that's that. Uh, I think that's everything. We can end on a, <laughs> I need to remember, wait, I've got to remind myself here. Hold on. Always be in Prague. Um, not necessarily, but mainly because we have a lot of keen devs here. So the HQ is, but I appreciate we have a large, um, our largest player base is in the US. I will hopefully be going to the US later this year for TwitchCon US uh, NA, but I don't know yet. We will see uh, all on finances and everything else. But if, if I, I, I have always wanted to do something in the US, but it's sometimes hard because the US is such a big place. You know, if you do an event somewhere, it's uh, <laughs> I mean, like the point is like most of Europe fits into Texas, right? So it's if you do something in the US, I think you have probably have to do it. Again, quite a bit in advance to have travel plans and stuff. So, I'm not planning on going, no, JPN, no.
Okay, I'm prepping the outro. I promised you guys I'd do, I would do the, the Halo theme here to, <laughs> to finish. It's very random, right? But I'm like, well, that's all for this week, guys. Oh, let's do the shout outs first. Who do we have in the chats on both YouTube and Twitch? Let's see who's hanging out here today in the chat. <laughs> I was just uh, preparing here. <laughs> I see in YouTube, Derpius, Weston, Graham, Axel, Andrew, 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 two Andrews, yeah. Chicken Fry Ramen, Dr. Dan, Green Bean, Nick's Born, uh, Uncle Jay, Gags, Commander Rodal, K10, David, Manta Ray, Mad Dog, Rockham, Graham, Retro, Aaron, uh, Norman, Ricardo, Dr. Dan, Planted Clover, Torch, Totem, Zio, uh, JG Phoenix, David, Private, Red Hatchet, uh, Planted Clover, Paul, Private, uh, Daiko, Andrew, Another Andrew, I think. SMO, Heiko. And then in the YouTube, uh, Twitch chat, I see. I see. Random. Uh, a, a jerk. Demetrius, LX, Captain Arthur, Zio, Ilians, AGM, Aaron Luke Marshall, Evenstar, Delian, Grizzly, Ramoon, uh, Hando, Trindle, Dakin, Spets, Dunn, Drago, Garrett. Meat, Popsicle, <laughs> Stephanie, S. King. Okay, I think I got nearly everyone there. <laughs> okay, then here we go. I don't know if I remember the whole thing. Now the pressure's on here. Testing, testing. But that's all. But, but that's all for now. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in the community in general, please do join our Discord server, discord.gg slash keenswh. And I'll see you all next time. And as always, hmm. oh, 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 oh.